Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. It's going to be kind of a quick, short, how I tie of tutorial-ish, if you want to call it that, um, video about how to color chalkboard or how to make a chalkboard in your books. So what we're going to be doing today is working from the Misfits Volume 2, which I just got this week in Happy Mail. So I wanted to do a picture in here and we're doing this page here. And this is like a chalkboard back here. So we will do the chalkboard effect back here. And what you're going to need, it's very, very simple actually. And you can do it on the cheaper side if you want to or more budget friendly side. Um, you're going to need some acrylic paint. Um, you can use any kind of black acrylic paint or deep gray. I have a black gray paint here, which is, let me zoom in so you can see it's a little better. Uh, which is the Apple Barrel brand, which is, I uh, use pavement. It is a kind of a... Um, a kind of grayish black, which I love this one. It's probably my favorite. Um, and you can get this size here for the two fluid ounce um, bottle at Walmart here in the United States. Um, I don't know if um, they're the same price over in like the UK or anything like that, anything like that. But you can get this size bottle of all their colors, except for the metallic colors, so like that. But for like the rare like matte colors and stuff like that, like the satin colors, this is only 50 cents. So it's really good and works really well. The other colors, sometimes you need to put two layers on, but the blacks, you always, always need just one layer. So out of that, all you're going to need for this as well is a white pencil. I'm going to be using Prismas because they're out and I want to use them on this picture. But you can, um, I'll show you in a second on the test page here, you can use pretty much any brand of pencil as long as it's white color. So I zoom back out. I did a test page which is just some printer paper here uh, when I put the, um, this is what the um, pavement looks like. It's just kind of like a grayish black. And I tested out some different pencils here. So this is the Prisma. The Stedler um, Norris color did not come up very well on here, neither did the Crayola, but you can do it. The Crayola does pick up a little bit better than the Stedler. The Artesas work good, the Platinums work good, the Filos work good. And I also tested some gel pen. So this is a white um, Pentel, this is the white colorate, and this is a silver in the colorate. I think the silver is probably the best because it kind of like reflective and stuff like that. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you it all. I'm going to... Sorry, I thought I heard something. I am going to speed my way through and kind of do this off camera, paint the background off camera. So I'll show you the effect when it's done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now this is dry. We can start working on everything. I think there's little wet spots here and there. But the nice thing about this, uh, this brand is you only have to use a very, very small amount. Um, a little goes a long way. I've had this probably five or six months now, I think now, and it works really good. So one thing I had to add back in is the line here because this kind of is like a little bit of folding. So what we're going to do is zoom in. We're just going to kind of follow this part here. Just do as straight of a line as I can by trying to eyeball it. And keep it nice and straight there, kind of like that. So it kind of looks a little bit. So as you know, this thing on here was I will not bite. So basically, the nice thing about this is it's a very toothy effect. I said over this, it's very toothy. So this is a lot, it feels almost like a chalkboard type of thing. So you can easily write on here. So my, and I just mind my hand wording because I'm not the best. So saying I will not bite. So just kind of write on here. Make sure it's not wet in any place. So you can kind of copy what was going back there and add your own stuff in there. And then like down here it had hungry. So what I'll do is write in that. So just put it in here. It's kind of just write in your own things. You can write in your own zombie things or write in your own schooling things. And kind of just do that. I probably will repeat that over and over and over again. So I will kind of speed up what I'm going to write and then I will talk about a little bit in the end. So very short video today.
So there we go. Nice, very simple and fast what it looks like here. I kind of added a little lines around here to make it look like it was chalkboard. And if you want, you can take an eraser and kind of smudge things to make it look like it was erased. I don't feel like doing that today. It will look like this. Hold on a second. It'll kind of give like a, it'll give like a sheen to the paper almost because you're like erased it over everything else. I don't feel like doing that today for this picture, but you can do that if you want to create like an erased effect. You could probably even use like a white pa chalk pastel over it and kind of like smudge it with your finger to make it look like it's like kind of like a smudge, you know, like erased uh, white, uh, like a white, no, not whiteboard, blackboard. So yeah, this is kind of like a very fast video, kind of tutorial-ish type of thing, but I really like how it turned out and kind of like a random thing I stumbled upon trying to do what I was like doing like, um, what I'll do is like pull out like a piece of paper, a spare piece of paper, just kind of like put some paint on there and test out what I can do on top of it, pencil and stuff, and stuff like that. So yeah, very fast, easy kind of how to, how I type of thing for a chalkboard in your books. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, happy coloring.